This is a heartbreaking story. The family is devastated. Community members are devastated too. And there's a memorial now set up where the crash happened on Sunday. We're told the family of three was out on a walk when they were all hit. We spoke with family. They tell us the mom and dad were both seriously injured and their sweet baby boy did not survive his injuries. And he was just days away from his first birthday. It's a parent's worst nightmare, losing their child. And in Las Flores, an Orange County family is heartbroken after 11-month-old Madden Olweiler was killed after being hit by a suspected DUI driver. A memorial now marking the spot where it all happened. On Sunday afternoon, Kyle and Haley Olweiler were walking on the sidewalk of Antonio Parkway in Oak Tree Lane when CHP says a car hit them. CHP says the car drove on the sidewalk for several hundred feet before hitting the family. The driver was arrested for suspicion of driving under the influence of drugs. The mom, dad, and baby were all rushed to the hospital, and baby Madden did not survive, causing an outpouring of support from community members, grieving the loss with the family. My condolences to the family. I just, it's just a tragedy that. Layla Kianer lives in the neighborhood and is a mother herself. She's emotional over the tragic news and brought a balloon to the memorial site. Walking is should be the most, you know, the safest thing you do. Like you're walking in the street. It shouldn't be like walking by the highway. This is a this is a town. This is not highway. She says speeding is a major problem in the area. It's unbelievable. People speed up like 80, 90. Police needs to be more here. Family tells Fox 11, Haley has a broken pelvis, bruises, and pain in her spine. Kyle has a concussion and stitches in his neck. Both have to get MRIs. But family says the biggest pain they're all feeling is the sudden and devastating loss of baby Madden, who would have turned one years old on Friday an immeasurable loss that was senseless. I'm so sorry for, you know, these things that unnecessarily happen. And you're taking a live look now at the memorial site with teddy bears, balloons, and flowers. The driver, suspected of DUI, has been identified as 54-year-old Daniel Linehan. He will be in court tomorrow. And the family has set up a GoFundMe page to help them with the sudden funeral expenses. We have a link to their GoFundMe on our website, foxla.com. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News. Our